there is no team in the country that could compare in breadth and depth in both open and robotic surgical arenas in one institution. We're here for the patient. Uh, we're here for uh, the patient every step of the way. Prostate cancer is a very common disease uh, worldwide. It's the second leading cause of cancer-related death in men over the age of 60. Each year about uh, 230 to 240,000 men are newly diagnosed with prostate cancer in the United States. If patients have organ-confined disease, that means cancer confined to within the prostate, it is highly likely that you can achieve a cure for many, many patients who come to surgery early enough. At the Keck Medical Center of USC, we strongly recommend surgery for patients with non-metastatic prostate cancer. Candidates for surgery are those patients who have localized disease. We call that T1, T2 disease. It's confined to the prostate. Patients who have extra caps or extension of disease, which is locally advanced, but in the absence of metastatic disease are also ideal candidates for surgery. And those patients who have failed uh, definitive radiotherapy and now have recurrence are also candidates for radical prostatectomy. The goals of radical prostatectomy are basically threefold. First and foremost is cancer control, while at the same time minimizing risks and complications of the procedure. The second would be maintaining uh, an excellent level of urinary control. And thirdly would be preservation of erectile function and that is done by preserving the neurovascular bundles which lie adjacent to the prostate and through which they exit through the pelvic floor. If we found bilateral significant cancer, we still recommend surgery or radiation. That's the world standard. But if the cancer is localized in one site, why you need to treat other sites? The focal therapy can control cancer with preserving the function of benign area. The goal of focal therapy is cure the cancer or at least control the cancer with minimizing treatment-related side effects. Unfortunately, about 30% of men who undergo surgery or radiation therapy for localized prostate cancer will present with a disease recurrence. Now the first line treatment for patients with metastatic advanced prostate cancer is hormone therapy. The duration of response to this form of therapy is of limited duration, after which time the disease becomes castration or treatment resistant. Now over the four or five years, we have had a whole explosion of new treatment options for patients with advanced castration resistant disease, which include immunotherapy, new chemotherapeutic agents, as well as new hormonal anti-cancer drugs. As you know, we are a comprehensive cancer center. So based on that, we already belong to a very elite group of cancer institutions in the United States. A lot of our clinical trials are designed by the clinical investigators themselves. Typically when a patient comes in through the door for prostate cancer, we are able to offer them individualized treatment according to what we think is the best treatment option for that particular patient because we have this entire armamentarium at our disposal where we can offer them pretty much anything. And we have a phenomenal expertise in all of these options. Cutting edge basic science expertise in epigenetics research in cancer cell biology for prostate and bladder cancer and now even in kidney cancer, stem cell regeneration, all this delivered in a compassionate, individual, patient-centric environment.